Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Toy Review Man with, back with another review for you. This time I got another G.I. Joe review. This time, oh, uh, Storm Shadow or Shadow Storm, what his name is actually. I don't remember. I think it's Shadow Storm or Storm Shadow. But yeah, there's a picture, picture of him. It says Storm Shadow right there, right there. MIC number classified and it's marked there with the uh, stripes and it says pretty much down here is actually yeah it says fearless uh, ninja toy uh, what's good uh, fearless ninja toy warrior yeah you can just see his pants now and the part of his four pack yeah so okay, let's just get the camera a little bit up. There you can see him. Okay, take the camera up here. Here you can see him holding his swords, having his gloves there. Yeah, yep. Take off, take off his sw swords. And make him sit. Yeah, this is the uh, one very cool figure he has those little gloves there or what you call them yeah yeah one of the bad baddest thing with this figure is you can see the joints pretty well is the gloves are going over there yeah, just to hide them a little bit yeah but uh, it's no no thing that I am complaining about yeah he's very very good detailing on his face. Actually, he reminds me of that Bruce Lee. Uh, uh, yeah, you can see his scars here. Turn on the light and see. Yeah, you can see it better. Turn his scars here. One, two, three, four, and one down there. Uh, and two scars on his face. You can see them there. One and two. Yeah. Articulations, the arms can go fully around while they go up and down, and bend and turn at the elbow, bend and turn at the wrist, yeah, and bend feet, feet bend forward, backward, bend at the knee, and bend actually bend the hair, but this shoes is hindering because there's a big and pretty hard to take off. And his pants is silk. It's oh, it's actually good to touch and <laughs> touch his pants. They're so soft and smooth. Yeah. Oh, he's a fighter. I'm try to make this camera a little bit higher so you can see more of him. There. Yeah, that was better. Uh, yeah, he comes with his. One of his swords, this sh actually this short one, and one much longer one. You can see much longer. Yeah, you can in the movie he put them together like this and just fight with them like that. Yeah, and it comes with three shurikens. Yeah, none of them are like so. That's cool. And one of these very, I think, futuristic gun that it can't even hold right. You can hold him like like so, but he can't put his finger in here. <laughs> like you can give him to Snake Eyes. Yeah, that's pretty much what he do. And yeah, the head you can fully rotate. And go and go up and down, side to side. Yeah, mm, that's pretty cool. And he has his gun. Yeah, you can. It, it, it just came like this. No jacket or sweater or what you want to have. And actually, no place to have his swords. When I, if I would play with him, I had, like would have his swords down here. But when I drag him up, it can hurt a little bit. This is some places. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that. 
Is there no place to place the shurikens? No, and not a gun. And swords can be fitted here. It looks a little bit cool. Yeah, but so that's cool. He can't actually even hold the swords because his arms is too big for the swords. So his swords will easily fall out or just lay down there. You not hold them like this. But I won't complain because even if you statue him like this, it will it will be pretty nice. I like to statue him with the the snake eyes is coming with the sword like this and it's just blocking like this. Yeah, I think that is cool. But that was all. So this was me to turn around, subscribe, comment and rate, and that was all. Goodbye.